Hey there friends, I'm going to show you how I made this faux concrete planter with a medallion. I was looking for a planter to for my new baby olive tree and didn't want to spend what it was going to cost me to buy and so with some really inexpensive items I was able to make it. Here is what I used. First thing you're going to want to do is make your medallions. You're going to have to make a couple of them so you know start that process. Um, the key for this is the E6000 glue. I tried a bunch of stuff. I can tell you definitely what not to use is a silicone glue. If you look in the upper right corner you can see there's a uh, mold that's kind of glued in and that's the silicone. It will not come out of a silicone mold, just word to the wise. Anyway, just smooth. Um, if you hit the mold, you can get the air bubbles to rise to the top and um, poke them out as much as possible. The truth of the matter is that this is going to be a little rustic looking and so you don't need it to be perfect. If you have a few holes in it, that works fine. Let that glue dry for about two to three hours and then you can easily pull it out of the mold. Now we're going to just mark on the pot where we want our medallions to be. I um, made mine about three inches up from the bottom, personal preference. Mine did end up being a little on the lower end, so if you want, after you see what mine look like, you might want yours a little higher. And then just drew the line all the way around so I knew where I was, needed my medallions to be. I measured the circumference of the line that my medallions will be on. and that came to 21 inches. And since I'm gonna have four medallions, I divided by, by four, so I'm gonna space my medallions every five and a quarter inches. So just mark that off of your line. And then you're gonna trim your medallions. And this is very easy. Just a um, sharp pair of small scissors is all you need. And once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna be using a kind of uh, textured paint. And so any little imperfection on your medallion will not show at all. So this doesn't have to be precise. Glue your medallion onto your pot and, and the key thing is you want to make sure you get the glue around the edges of the medallion so that all the edges are, are adhered to the pot, making it less likely to peel off. And I just used bungee cords. I have three bungee cords that I applied to the uh, medallion to hold it down, hold it so that it goes around the surface of the pot. Once you have all your medallions on, um, I'm going to spray paint it. I just used up five almost empty cans of spray paint, made my husband really happy to get those out of the garage. And then um, I just used this concrete paint, this textured concrete paint by Art Mines. Probably, um, and I added some brown and black to it because right out of the jar it was a little blue for me. So um, with this personal preference, mix yours the way you want. I'd say rough estimate I used about, for a third of a cup of the textured paint, I used probably about a tablespoon each of the black and the brown. And then it's just a matter of, of sponging it on. I'm using just a waxing brush here just to get a good texture. And don't forget your saucer. Here's the finished with just the concrete paint. I then wanted to, I thought I was going to be done there, but then I got a good idea that I wanted to whitewash it. So just really with a dry brush, just go in a really haphazard motion. Yeah, 
you can apply as little or, you know, paint as you want of the white to cover up, you know, if you wanted it almost all white, then clearly apply more. I went from just more of a whitewash look. If you get a little too much in one place, it wipes off easily. Just do it before it dries. And there you go. Do seal it. Use an acrylic sealer to seal your pot inside and out. And um, plant your baby olive tree in it. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to see the written post for it, click the I in the upper right hand corner. And if you want to see more videos from Nourish and Nestle, click the nest in the bottom right hand corner. Have a great day.